In this video, I'm going to give you a concept demonstrated live in a shopping mall as to why men have wronged you and how to avoid it in the future. Don't forget to subscribe, grab your free download of my book, and I'll see you right after this. What's happening here is it's 7 a.m. and I'm down at the local supermarket and they're only letting senior citizens shop. Let's go find out why. Yeah. Like what, what's been the reason that you've had to put this hour in? That you've just had to help elderly, elderly people. Because yeah. of other people buying, buying for no reason. And it's just so busy so they don't get chance and they get anxiety and they get frustrated. Yeah, this yeah. hour for them to come and do yeah. their shopping in a peaceful time. That's so nice of you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you've had to put limits on everything. everything. You've had to like stop yeah. people coming in and buying. What's what's the worst example you've had? Um, uh, tin, uh, vegetables. Ve vegetables. Tin vegetables? Tin vegetables. Tin vegetables. Yes. How much have people tried to buy? Like 20, 30, 40, whatever they can get their hand on. Oh my God. Yeah. Wow, and what's the most you've had someone spend like in a unnecessary shop? Five, six hundred dollars, seven hundred And you're not even closing, right? You're no. not even... No. Wow. We are not closing, we are opening, doing the best we can yeah. and just putting, trying to help customers with yeah. can. Well, thank you for doing what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, uh, really people like our parents will really appreciate it. So. Yes, I, I'm sure they are appreciated. Yeah. We have customers, they just yeah. go to tears when they come for yeah. shopping, elderly people mainly. For yeah, well, thank you for doing it. Yeah, appreciate yeah. it. And thank you for your time. I want you to think of all the behaviours that you hate from men. I hate it when men ghost, I hate it when men cheat, I hate it when men pull away with no reason. Think of all the immoral behaviours that you hate from men. Right, they've just opened the store here, it's just past 8am and average people have gone flooding in to get unnecessary groceries. We're going to go inside, check out why, and I'm going to show you why this reveals everything you need to know about finding great men. Have you had aggressive and abusive behaviour? What were they really angry about? Not being able to get stopped. Right, as in... Like it's his fault. Right, blaming you guys. Well, you know that dude got stabbed, the Woolworths employee got stabbed. It's been on the news. Yeah. yeah he was going to collect trolleys because they were so busy and he got stabbed. Do you see how there's no logical reason why? There's no logical reason people need to be bulk shopping right now. The shops aren't closing. Nothing's getting cut off. There's no logical reason why Woolworths should have to create a special hour just for the elderly. But that's exactly what they've had to do. You see, human beings have two brains. We have our thinking brain and we have our feeling brain. Now, for the sake of this video, we're going to refer to our thinking brain as our human brain and our feeling brain as our lizard brain. And the problem is this. Guess who's in charge when a human being comes under stress? Our lizard brain is older, our lizard brain is more archaic, it's more impulsive, and when stress comes, when we're under a state of fear, this is the brain that takes charge. Now these are good people, right? These people who have bulk shopped for no reason, they're not bad people, but they've been hijacked. They've been hijacked by a brain that's under significant stress, right? They've crossed a threshold and their behavior no longer makes sense. This is why people are fighting over toilet paper. Stealing hand sanitizer. Wiping a bottle of hand sanitizer from a Fuku burger in the Southwest Valley. And taking masks from hospitals. Police have recovered seven boxes of stolen respirator masks. Right, it's disgusting behavior. But the truth is, we are all prone to it. The question is not if you're prone to doing this, right? Any of us, if you put us under enough stress, you, me, all of us are prone to doing this. In fact, if they said right now, hey, we're cutting all supply lines, we're closing the stores, everything's shutting down, no one's gonna have groceries, fuck, I'd run in there and grab some, right? We are all prone to this. The question is not would we do it, the question is what is our threshold for falling into lizard brain behavior? Now you might be wondering, well, that's great, Mark, but how is that relevant to my dating life and the way men have wronged me? It couldn't be more relevant, right? What you're seeing here with these shops, with this crazy nonsensical buying, is the best live demonstration I can ever give you of what happens when human beings cross a threshold and the lizard brain takes over. Right now, we've only got a small percentage of the population demonstrating this behavior. There's only a small set of people doing it. 
but it's there. It's clear and it's obvious, right? Emotionally immature men and women, they don't explain their behavior, right? Just the same way you ask these people, they say, okay, well, why are you buying so much stuff? There's no need to. They'll say, oh, I just, I don't know. I felt like I should, or, oh, I guess I, I don't know, right? They won't be able to give a logical explanation because it doesn't make sense. When people enter lizard brains, all bets are off. And this is why when you talk to emotionally immature men about why did you ghost, why did you cheat, or why did you follow that impulse, you're not going to get a logical explanation. When you break down why this is happening in this case, it's obvious. We have stimulus, a V-I-R-U-S. We have fear kicks in, which could be fear of dying, fear of running out of groceries, whatever it is. And a small percentage of the population crosses into lizard brain behavior and poor old Woolworths has to set up a 7 a.m. because now the elderly people can't buy the groceries anymore. It's a very obvious, clear, clean example of lizard brain behavior. What's not so obvious and what you have to learn is the way men do this to you in relationships. And to be fair, the way you do it to men, right? It starts with a stimulus. The stimulus could be emotional intimacy. It could be feelings of inadequacy in him. It could be that you just say a similar thing to what his ex said to him just before she cheated on him. You don't really know what the stimulus is. It's not as obvious as, it, as this example, but then a fear kicks in and the fear could be fear of abandonment, fear of embarrassment, fear of rejection, fear of not being good enough, fear of betrayal. All these different fears kick in for the guy and a percentage of men will then cross their threshold and the result is lizard brain behavior that makes absolutely no sense. Hence the ghosting, the cheating, the pulling away without reason. Thus, what's really important for you to know is where a man's threshold to cross into this shitty behavior sits, as well as where your own sits. Because only by two people coming together who have high thresholds, will you be able to survive the emotional stressors and fears and create healthy behavior in a relationship. Again, you can't really tell how fit someone is until you put them in the gym or put them into a physical competition. And you can't tell if you're going to get this behavior from a man unless you put him into a state of emotional stress. Now, I'm not saying to stress him out intentionally. That's not the point, right? But you have to see how that system operates when it is stressed, when he's in fear. And you'll naturally see this as things go along. But if a guy pulls away after three months when you're getting closer, psh, lizard brain, then you've started to see how the system operates under stress, right? You've got to be a mentalist. You've got to be aware of how men's fears come in. And then when that system hits lizard brain behavior is your clues as to how good of a guy this is going to be for you. Again, you're not looking for a man with no threshold because no such guy exists, right? But when you talk about has a guy or a girl worked through their stuff, what you're really asking is have they been to the emotional gym? Right? Have they created self-awareness? Or are they still in states of denial? Right? Do they take responsibility? Or do they blame? These are the things that are gonna demonstrate emotional fitness, just the same way a physical athlete has to be tested in competition to see their physical fitness. A relationship is a workout. There's no doubt about it. It's an emotional workout, and you need a certain threshold of emotional fitness to sustain one without lizard behavior. This is why it's so important you see that system. You see a man under different forms of stress. And again, this will happen naturally as you get to know the guy and as he's confronted with his fears around intimacy, vulnerability, connection, all of the above. My new program, Just For Professional Women, is all about this. So if you wanna work with me, there's a free application in the description below. You can apply right now for it. Hit the link. It's all about you becoming an amazing mentalist. And I go deep into these concepts about spotting guys who are not going to hit this lizard brain behavior with you guys who have been to the emotional gym, guys who can match you, and you've got to go there too, who can create a loving, deep connection with you, with none of this lizard brain behavior bullshit that's making people shop for absolutely no reason. So how do you know if a guy's gonna ghost? Well, that depends how he follows up with his fear of intimacy. Does he hit his threshold for shitty behavior? Or has he been to the emotional gym? Is he gonna cheat on you one day? Well, it depends how he handles his fear of abandonment when it comes up his fear of not being attractive anymore, his fear of not being validated. Can he have the difficult conversations? Has he been to the emotional gym? Or are you gonna get lizard brain behavior? Human brain, lizard brain. We all have both, but it depends where the threshold is. You can only judge a system, in this case a man, under a time of stress. When you see that system under stress, you see the people that can stand up and be the man you want, right? Again, these are well-meaning people, all of them. 
and any other day of the year you wouldn't see this behavior but put the system under stress and you see the truth don't do it on purpose it'll happen naturally as you go along with the guy but understand that love is not always enough and only when you see the system under stress will you see the true strength of the man of yourself and of the relationship Again, fill out the application form below if you want to work with me. And don't forget all the free downloads that I've got are in the description as well. Hit the subscribe button with a little bell and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next video real soon.